I'm Sonia. I'm Beth. And I'm Kate. And today we're dishing with you from Kramer Books and Afterwards Cafe located in DuPont Circle at 1517 Connecticut Avenue Northwest right here in Washington. And this is one of those places that I think everybody comes the first week that they arrive in Washington. They better. this is such an institution. It 35 is. years it yeah. has been here. It's one of my favorite places here in D.C. and one of the first places I came when I first moved to D.C. Exactly. Everybody says this is the first place you have to go to. Yeah. And actually, funny enough, after all the times I've been here, I never realized there was a upstairs seat here. <laughs> either. And I've been here a gazillion times. I never I, knew this area was here. Great place to come and get a book, of course, mm -hmm. but then also nibbles and noshes and all the other stuff and to desserts. eat. Such good and desserts. And this is awesome. Raving about the desserts. People the I've had pie. this before. Really? Yes. The goober pie. Well, since I'm you've had it, then I will eat it this time. You're going get none of it. It's, it's for the peanut butter lover, and I love the chocolate <laughs> peanut butter combo. And there's something on the other end as well. It's the salted, and salted caramel, caramel chocolate, chocolate yes. cake. But you know, they do this great thing here called shares. Shares. Which, sharesies, which they do a stack of three, and you can get three of them for nineteen dollars. You can buy them separately, and some of the shares are these amazing. I mean, this doesn't even look like a share. I could just eat this. Well, the exactly. mom muscles. Really good. The Obama family chili. Uh, we are told that this is the Obama family chili recipe, although Kramer Books and afterwards substituted red peppers for green peppers. I guess if they were blue peppers, they would <laughs> like, 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 can and I do dessert first and work like dessert to dessert? Can I work that way? Well, I can work sure. from the afterwards. Nice. <laughs> And today we're dishing with Andrew Shortel. He is the director of Green Card Pictures, and he's got this movie, this psycho thriller called Psych Nine that's just come out. That's right. And we want to talk about that, but I think a lot of people um, want to know what it's like to be the director of a film. Um, is you know, it like being on the front of the Titanic and you're the king of the world? Because I think we all think of... I uh, think a lot of directors think that's think like how powerful. it is and it's, it's the glamorous world of being in film. Um, there is part of that. It also is a lot of work and it's one of those jobs you, when you really think about how many moving pieces go into a film, uh, you then realize how overwhelming it is and why good directors are good directors because they have so much to deal with on, on a daily basis. You don't get much sleep, you're working with the actors, you're working with the crew, uh, but it's very rewarding and working with actors, for directors that love the business, that's why they do it. I mean, you, you see magic appear in front of your eyes from these uh, amazing cast of actors that just give everything that they have. Do you have any favorite people to work with that we might know? Um, well, I mean, people in, in this film um, were amazing and I would work with them again. Michael Bean, who was in The Terminator. Um, he was in the first one, Saving Sarah Connor. Uh, we also had... Sarah Connor. Yeah, Sarah Connor. We also had Sarah <laughs> Foster, who is sort of a, br sort of a new emerging young actress. She's a Maxim model but was in The Big Bounce with Owen Wilson and she did an amazing job. She carries the film. She's the main, the, the main lead actress in the film and she goes through this harrowing experience, you know, and that I have to say, you know, there are not many actresses that could do that. So she was great. And then we had Carrie Elwes, who everyone knows from Princess Bride, Liar Liar, uh, Men, in, Men in Tights. So this was a little darker than Men in Tights, but it was, uh, it was great working with Carrie. Carrie is a true professional and just has done such a great body of work that it was great working with someone like that. So now you told us who's in the film. Tell us yeah. about the film. What is this film all about? Well, the film, the film Psych 9 is a psychological thriller. Uh, it has undertones of horror as well, but it basically is about a, centered on a woman who's working in a hospital at night, uh, filing paperwork. The hospital's been closed down, and then all these weird things start to happen around her. There's a series of murders, a uh, serial killer on the loose. Uh, her husband is, is, you know, she's starting to question her relationship with her husband. She then turns to this psych, uh, psych, psychiatric doctor 
who is working there also with her and she st he starts to kind of just start to kind of get everything out of out of her head that's been sort of all caught up for years and and then it's this whole thing of her trying to figure out really what's going on with with, with everything good. and she's now sort of in the midst of this whole these series of killings which she never you know thought she was and it, it's so it's there's, it's sort of very Alfred Hitchcock in a way um, and it has twists and turns and some good scares and jumps and things like that so it's I, 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 I didn't want to I didn't want to interrupt no. you but I've just always been dying to ask a director how do you get the actors to commit to doing a movie like this uh, the Princess Bride is not exactly a dark movie right. what you've described means that any actor has to dig deep within themselves right. to bring out the character you're asking them to play. You know, it's it's on a number of different levels. I mean, there's the, there's the material. Obviously, all well, the actors have to respond to the material. They have to like, you know, feel like there's something in the character that they haven't maybe mm -hmm. done before, or they or they're intrigued about the character. Mm -hmm. um, there's also, you know, people who are like trying to do something different to shake the mold of what they usually do. So, mm -hmm. someone like a Sarah Foster, who's done The Big Bounce and Beverly Hills 90210. Mm -hmm. She's done sort of, you know, she's the pretty girl. She's the blonde. Right. She's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But for her to kind of just turn into this character that's just disheveled and just mm -hmm. run down and you know to just act. Yeah, and, and to really <laughs> act and now she's gotta like just throw a performance that's some, no one's ever really seen from her mm -hmm. before. So for her that was the reason. Um, you know, and there's also money, you know, we, you paid them well and they, they make money <laughs> for doing what they do. It's a job. So uh -huh. um, you know, so I think and also we shot this film in Prague in Czech Republic. So we shot it in like abandoned hospitals, we shot it uh, on the same sound stage as the James James Bond film, um, the, la the the first James Bond with Daniel Craig and uh, Casino Royale, and so we had we just had a lot of things that were appealing to people. You know, mm -hmm. the fact that they go to Prague and shoot there for a month or two, and so. Mm -hmm. Well, who wrote the screenplay? Uh, it was written by a, a writer called uh, Lawrence Robinson. He's a British writer that lives in Los Angeles. So not so. it's not adapted from. A book no, it, it's it's it's, it's original an original project. screenplay, and I and then I directed it and produced it. So. And um, what is with the number nine, District Nine? I know. Nine, nine was nine 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 nine. Yeah, there was the film nine. I mean, Case Thirty Nine. Nine is <laughs> nine is one of those numbers. I think that a lot of people associate with terror and and you know also it's just one of those kind of interesting numbers you know so I think that everyone was jumping on the bandwagon over the last few years to, to put nine in their title so <laughs> well, we were one of them an interesting mm -hmm. number and an interesting film yeah. where can I don't we know. see it where, yes. can, we, can we see, where it can we see it? it yeah it um, the film was released um, last week Lionsgate uh, released it Lionsgate films and it is available on iTunes it is available on Netflix it's available on demand Amazon yeah, it may even be available in the store here. So I mean, it's it's out there. So Lionsgate, it's everywhere where you can buy a DVD or Blu-ray. And okay. so yeah, it came right. out last week. If you want to get chills and thrills, yeah. Psych Nine. Thanks so much for being with us. You're very welcome. And as always, thank you for being with us. Don't forget that you can follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Be our friend. Follow us, and always come back and see us right here on the District Dish.